Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where my knee feels like it's going to fall off. Let's go poke this thing. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to not reload too much except for when I make a silly dumb mistake that doesn't require much to go back. <laughs> not a design. But, I can't help it. This looks ominous. This looks like what was the thing that they're dumping bodies down, maybe from the, from up top, you know? The flesh rot door. Any, any clues as to what anything is around here? That sounds gross. Definitely sounds like there's stuff hanging out. I've got the alt tab and it has not done anything. Poke! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what? If this is mole? Need, but fragmented too. It is oh no, okay, it's, it's alien. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its this life. This sounds like a bad idea. <sighs> I, why would I want to... Maybe I need to do it to unlock the door. Okay. Oh, not a puzzle. Oh, my gosh. Reason, memory, emotion, speech. Okay, yes. In order to unlock the door, what do you want me to do? With... Uh... I have a feeling yeah, they maybe shouldn't like cross paths or something. And I'm gonna be like upsetty spaghetti. Okay, is that correct? Speech. Wait. Oh! Oh, okay, so I have. What was I doing? I was doing memory. So we have memory, emotion. Speech, reason. So the memory, no reason. We were doing memory, memory. You good? Come on, I need you to not, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've already messed it up. This is fun. I, I like this, actually. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Ma. Ma. Stop. Welcome. Mm, we're maybe getting somewhere. Time to see what's back there. Brain blast! I was inspired. Can I talk to you? The mind needs no further input or connections. It is complete. <laughs> Will smiling, I'm like, mm hmm. Those gates will know. That was a fun puzzle, actually. I enjoyed that. All right, well, I don't know what's going on down here. Uh, a waking mind? All right, hang on. Before we do anything crazy, I'm going to put this brain that I just picked up in the, in the brain machine, in the brain computer, and see what it says about this area that we are about to walk into. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw, some variety of elf, pretty enough Me? for a flesh prison. If not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. Oh, you. like Githzerai, sibling race to the world oh! of Githyanki. Their oh! contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Elithids. I guess you're no willing guest of the gate either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Oh, that's actually crazy. That's crazy. Oh, okay, we're finally sort of encountering them. Okay, sorry about that. There was probably some technical issues going on. I've been avoiding doing an update because sometimes the updates on the Elgato will make things worse. But it turns out uh, only so long you can do that before the Elgato starts to go hey. So uh, I think we were having some 
choppy video in the first a bit, so hopefully now it looks pretty crystal clear. We'll hope we'll hope it keeps going that way. Perhaps we might how did you end up in the vault? Gate the dowry are supposed to be the ultimate warriors. Yeah. Warriors of the yeah. night. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Gake is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it, and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole. What? Erase me, and I will pass my technique on Why to you. Why do I have to use a tadpole? You catch the lie. Oh! The lie oh, thank you! You want my help? Then tell me the truth. All right. I... The <gasps> did not find my monastery. I led them oh. there. They promised me immortality, and they gave it. I have been their rotting trophy for centuries. As her agitation swells, so does her latent psionic power. To your tadpole, that guilt and terror are almost fragrant. You realize the Alithids locked her away not as a trophy, but as a fine vintage. Disgusting. Please, touch my mind and purge it. The moment you do, my knowledge will be yours. Uh, reach out and purge, or we can reach out and consume it. Uh, I mean, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. Is, uh, like I said, we're having to do a lot of mercy killings, apparently, down here, which doesn't surprise me in this area, actually, now that I think about it. Um, A, she deserves what happened to her, I think, in some way. Uh, she, cause, so the way she said it, too, I was like, I was like, you taught a... A, a really special move and then the gay killed you for it i'm like were you teaching the gay this special move and if they killed you and your head is here i assume the illithid like groupies like here or whatever the absolutes people or whatever no i guess it's been centuries but the illithids i guess um no not, not she wouldn't have worked with the illithids because gay is like everybody else i think anyway whoever it was kept her head and uh yeah, so you can kind of tell just from the way she was phrasing it that, like, she wasn't telling the truth all the way. Um, and so, so she, I feel like in some ways, like, she deserves what happened to her, right? Like, you got your entire monastery killed for immortality. You got it. Congratulations. Be careful what you wish for. Also, be careful with be wishing for immortality in any situation. <laughs> it almost never works out the way you want it to. Um, but, has she suffered long enough? You know? And does anybody truly deserve to suffer like this? At the hands of the Illithids for centuries, um, being a talking head who's just mined for fear, you know? A part of me says, yes, I think she deserved, she deserved the centuries of punishment. At this point now, I don't think she really feels any guilt. Maybe she does a little bit, but regardless... I can't just leave her here. I feel like that, that would be the more evil of the things to do is to leave her here to suffer continuously forever. So, I will reach out and purge her mind. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch. But you feel something left behind. A fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I, I see. Well, I don't think you'll be welcomed with open arms by any means. But, uh... I suppose I hope you find some sort of peace. So I got what Githzerai mind barrier. But you guys are still steeped in bliss. Of many Having assimilated a splinter of Githzerai knowledge, mental barriers have been erected in the affected entity's mind. It has advantage on intelligence saving throws. That's cool. 
I am no longer affected by the blitz. Oh, maybe that's because they're far away. <laughs> that's probably what it is. Well, all right. I will leave your brain here. Because I'm gonna need you to stop. I need you to stop talking. Where did the? I was like, where are the others? Going? I will all. I will be continuously surprised that. What's his name? Halston can't make these jumps. Okay, so that didn't really give any clues as to the desecrated thing, except for the fact that this might be a Gizari ball really. This is what well, we're seeing like Illithid, we're seeing I think maybe Gith. And like this these are other Illithids. These are potentially Gith or undead on either side. There's like a temple and the ship. There's a ship there, an autoloid ship. A brain, the elder brain. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. This is where my archaeological training comes in. They really did, like, it's one of the, like, in theory, it would be a really fascinating ball relief to have this, like, perspective coming out like this. Uh, anyway, we're still affected by the dang nab bliss, but, like, I feel like I gotta use it for something in here. So, I'm gonna keep it. My. Oh, this is the absolute. What? I did not save <laughs> before pressing the button. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design. Why couldn't you do it in a nice way? into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Oh, I am? Well, your goal is corrupted. And just as suddenly, pain and oh, okay, gone, yeah. leaving only stone once more. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all illithids. Okay, that was it. I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, is this the actual absolute and Kethwick is just over yonder? <laughs> Why are they, like, who takes the time to hang the bodies up like this? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it gives me, it gives me a sense of interior decoration that is, is, um, Counterintuitive, maybe, you know, what, what their overall goal is. Um, not counterintuitive, but just like, it's like, oh, you're worried about the way the place looks, too. Not just, uh, you know, getting the most bang for your buck. Anyway, uh, there's a really fun book series called Liches Get Stitches. It's about a lady lich who becomes a lich by accident. How do you become a lich by accident, you ask? Very good question. Um, it's actually very well explained. <laughs> And um, it's funny because she's just like a normal everyday kind of like hedge witch uh, who gets accidentally made into a lich by no mean, no fault of her own. Um, and then, but you know, all she wants to do is uh, knit and craft all day. And uh, alas, people keep trying to kill her again. And so she has to go on all these crazy escapades to try to. Um, just have peace and quiet, you know? And it's actually really fun. It's very action-packed. It's very gory. Um, but it's also, it's a cozy horror, which is like a sort of subgenre of like cozy fantasy that I've been quite enjoying. I've read the first three books and I'm just waiting for an audible credit to listen to the next one. Uh, let's actually do a hard save here. I think, oh wait, I was gonna start just like, Scrolling down and picking a random one and over saving. This place is an illithid stronghold. Let's finish what we came here to do and get out. I'm with you, darling. Uh, how's it anything then? Bring Mizora. I can only hope it is a kindness we do not come to. It's regret. not like she'll pay it back. You know what I mean? Like, 
you could free any, almost anything else and like you would maybe they'd owe you maybe or something or they'd like give you one kindness maybe set you free if you get caught or something you know even if they're bad but like Missouri is not gonna do that um she did give Will a cool rapier though okay bye let's go I'm stalling let's go and I still have my guy oh and he got or it she haha -ha. she got um fully beefed up uh, I don't think I want to cast any spell on anything yeah because there's some things that are limited turn yep okay let's go ha 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 is anyone else's tadpole squirming around oh boy What do you mean, sense it's something? There's a bunch of illithid ships up there. Oh, we're no longer in the rejuvenating miasma, so I can't just summon beasties? Uh, let me make, yeah, I, I did check this earlier while I was, like, chit-chattering away, but yes. I believe we have completed as best we can. I still can't fast travel. La la la. This is upsetty spaghetti. Oh, now we're back in the rejuvenating miasma, yay. Gethric. Oh, yeah, he's the. Oh, he's right there. Gethric, give me back the ASMR. And I hope the conversation works. Come on. Come, I'm gonna scream. Why don't we have half dwarves? Why isn't that a thing? I'm looking at the elves, half elves, half orcs. Well, why can't we have half anything else? Half dragonborn. Half dwarf, half gnome. Is there a reason for that? Or are we just like limited by our own imaginations? Like in D&D &D in general. Anyway, I had to reload because it wasn't working. Uh, so I'm giving it a second. Give me a second. I was worried maybe I clicked on it too soon after the autosave, which is an old issue that used to happen in Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, seeing as how this is a spiritual successor, I'm going to give it a minute. Okay, apparently, because I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, ah, because it keeps not working. Um, somebody said that they quit entirely and restarted. So that's what we'll do. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Please work. No the background murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. Well, I, I, I just leave? Like, sure, yeah, in we go. I'm like, see you guys, it was nice, it was real. We didn't even finish Act 2. <laughs> that looks like Gale for a second? Who that? Lord Envar Gortash and what Deathbringer of Baal oh, I was trying to I was trying to use my camera to peek ahead. Who is that? Not that. You said it was under control. Oh This is the Sandman. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker. Gortash. That's right! I knew we oh my gosh. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. Nice. Uh you forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran. He looks like the Sandman. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here, if you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. Yeah? So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. 
Who's the Slayer? His crypt breath sings to my sinews. Oh, she's undying. Again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. Baldur's grave. Ha ha ha. If the weapon is true, she's cool. Grasp, Kethic, by the way, might I suggest closing your like fists. she looks really cool. Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow army and the weapon in turn. So he's not super in charge right now. The edict of Bane. The last of Bane. Oh, are you guys leading now? She looks sick. Like, her design is awesome. He looks like an emo boy that's from that was from my age that has now grown up and is in, like, his late 30s or 40s. Is that the Elder Brain? I'm just stuck on how he looks. I think you guys would need all three. The Testament of Merkel. So the three An gods. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke. Whoa! The she was sitting on Duke Ravengard? Preserve us. You wag your word flap in vain, old Elaine. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve oh, us. Oh no! Can't we do something? <laughs> Are we gonna have to kill him? Shit, no! Father! Oh, our position's been given away. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. Oh, is that what it's gonna be? Okay, well, so there's like some complex politics here. time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Oh, gate. none of you are rendering. We go to prepare the way. Yeah, no, I'm good. From head to toe. What does that do? Uh, explore all sections of the Mind Flayer colony. Okay, Duke catherick has got the Mind Flayer and the, the Illithid Worm. Uh, I guess he'd have to hang out with us the whole time. Otherwise, we'll have to kill him, maybe. Um... And Ketherick's just chilling. And, and where's the Ace Mar? Oh, she she over there. Okay, that's her. Another step forward. One of these saves, I'll actually um talk to him before all this. As predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? Your voice. You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. This is bold talk coming from a man who just has like five more health than I do right now. Uh... Why is the prism so important to you? Yeah, we need to ask more prism questions. This is something that she'd probably say, but why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. 
Her heart beating once more. Yeah, but at what cost? For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then take control of it. So the three gods are competing. He's never had a more devoted follower. For the Elder Brain. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. No, thank you. You are planning on betraying your allies? Yes. <laughs> yes! Okay. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Bold words. Bold words. Although, to be fair, he's probably going to have a gazillion Kendrick's people. Kendrick's unstoppable so long as he feeds on the night oh. sun. We must free her. Okay, uh, who is the fastest then? Whatever it will probably come, be ready. this boy when I shift him to... Let's do a saber too. How do I free her though? Like if I send your boy over there. Let's see. She is so caged. The night song can be helped out of the soul cage. Okay, well let's get your boy over there. We might actually just we just make him a bird. Can avoid attention and blind enemies. Yep, let's go bird. Okay. Okay, the bird will get there and we might have to dismiss the wild shape. I think so. Yeah, we don't want to attack her, we want to help and I do not have the help action, so. Next turn he will help her. Or we can help, oh baby, this worked out even better than I thought. Yes! Oh, oh, indeed! Let's see. I kind of want to have her jump up there. Yeah, get on up there. But we don't have enough movement. And I can't roar. Dang it. Can we do that? Target must be a human. What are you? I mean, are you undead? Y'all are undead. <laughs> You're a humanoid, just a humanoid undead. Can we just pick him up and. I was like, I gotta just pick him up and throw him? <sighs> no. I can't. We could telekinesis items? Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, this guy got caught up in it, but I think he saved. I think psychic stuff would not be uh, super ideal against the boys in tentacles. I don't like that. Wow. Oh my gosh! Focus your attack, soldiers! Oh no, I'm like easy peasy. No, absolutely not. This man hits like a truck. Yeah, no, counter spell that. Absolutely not. Ow! Oh my gosh. Where is his dad? His dad just like. <laughs> yeah, please do something with him. Could you actually- no, could you- no, these guys were distracted, I need you. Wow. <laughs> oh crap. Friggin' 
car light got caught up in the butterflies, and so did I, I think. All right, let's wild shape. Yeah, I think we're gonna wild shape into the tiger. Come on. Oh, he can't jump from here? I guess he can still move pretty far. Cannot give up now. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, dang it. I didn't mean to end turn. That's oh, fine. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. Because he can't touch him from there. He is very nearly dead. <gasps> no! Oh, Carlisle's gonna die. Focus your attack, it's okay, Catherick should die. Hopefully in this next round. Yeah, darling, I can't do anything. We're both down. It's okay. Allison's up here. Dom you can dominate an ASMR paladin? Cease and desist that nonsense. You just damaged me, lady. Take your movie. <laughs> I think she's doing killing. Um, oh, and my guy died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is going terribly. This is going terribly, honestly. Oh, yes, let's do this. Cami and baby. Stop hitting house while he's down. Oh, my gosh, we're doomed. Focus your attack, soldiers. We're doomed. I'm hoping the Cambian stays alive. Oh, that's right, Halson changes. Okay, back to his, himself. Could you stop being dominated now? You're gonna kill my people. Oh, wow, cool, nice, love that. Is she just attacking everybody? Is that what she's doing? And the freaking... Ah, oh, where is he? <laughs> I gotta try. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> we are definitely gonna have to do this again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved it if she had. Why isn't she fighting Catherine? Like, she needs to fight Catherine. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout-out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout-out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.